Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today we are having Ravindra sir with us and as you all know I am from AC background and during my placement preparation time I used to prepare all the computer fundamental subject all my myself and during that time I used to watch lots of video of Ravindra sir. So yeah it was really good experience for me and today i am very honored to invite ravind sir at my channel so thank you ravind sir for accepting our invitation so could you please give us your quick introduction so that our viewer will get to know more about you hi everyone my name is ravindra bab guravla and uh, i have done my masters from iisc bangalore i was a gate topper and uh, for the past 15 years i have been teaching training lakhs of students uh, for the gate exam and um, I have produced a lot of toppers also so I I I currently I'm I'm into teaching so and we are having a lot of courses like uh, gate DA gate CS DSA and full stack is coming up so we have a lot of courses that are coming up yeah that is about me so uh, the very first question I want to ask here, like since you are having some like lots of video related to Git at your channel and you are also launching some courses on all on the Git. So can you share how a students like how a college students and working professional to start their Git preparation? So uh, when I when I have done my Git preparation in 2007-2008, back then videos were not available. So only option we had was to read the books and learn the concepts. That was very time taking like like if you want to drink coconut uh, then you had to climb the tree and then pull the coconut and then cut it and then drink it that is a very tedious process reading the books now everything is like uh, uh, in videos that will save a lot of your time because you don't have to read a lot of books and you don't know what to read which book to read how to do the practice so this guidance is available in videos so it is like just uh, paying 10 rupees or 50 rupees and getting a coconut without climbing the tree so i think people should go for video lectures or if that is not available they can go for offline training whatever it is they should need a experienced teacher who will uh, save time uh, and then who will be able to guide you how to prepare right okay. so go for video lectures or uh, go for offline training nice so like this is very insightful like uh, uh, share for our viewers so yeah definitely when i was also preparing there was very less videos like some of the video i i used to watch yours and uh, like not like you you also did not have the course right like that time so yeah uh, it was a difficult journey but yeah, yes uh, of course uh, right now it's become very easy like uh, you can uh, watch lots of video and you will get uh, really good insight from uh, youtube videos and courses yeah um, yeah that's yeah. right so like me most of the student also watch the get video for the placement preparation like when I was preparing, lots of company used to ask computer fundamental question either in the form of MCQ or directly in the interview. So how the gate preparation is different from the placement preparation? Like a student who is watching your video and they want to prepare for placement only. As of now, they don't want to prepare for gate. Then how should they watch your video and how should they start preparation for computer fundamental like DBMS, OS, computer network kind of thing? So gate preparation covers everything required for interviews. For example, we have uh, programming algorithms and data structures. You know, they are the most important questions which are asked in uh, interviews. So people have to just uh, uh, learn these from gate preparation and do some extra questions for practice. And uh, everything is covered in gate preparation. Like we have data structures, we have dynamic programming, we have greedy and we have recursion. So we have all the topics covered. Apart from that, there are computer fundamentals required like operating systems, DBMS, OS, and all these questions like uh, and computer networks. For all these subjects, we cover them at a very high depth. So if a student really prepares well for gate preparation, even if he doesn't get a gate rank and even if he doesn't get into IITs, he will surely be able to crack interviews and get into companies like Google. That is very easy. So it is helpful for both. So this is really good, uh, Sarah. So basically, like whenever we prepare for get, 
uh, your placement preparation will all be uh, like always be in the right path like uh, the same kind of question little bit low level kind of question uh, company ask in the uh, interview as compared to uh, you will uh, get in the gate so if you will prepare for hard then definitely you will able to crack ej that's true that's true so like uh, what i am seeing like uh, you like you started creating youtube video the time when this is like not a very buzzword of becoming youtubers and all <laughs> so that time yeah. like very 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 few uh, like uh, uh, content creator was there in the edtech field so in fact uh, i was the first one to have started a uh, youtube channel for education in india no one before me have started so basically i started edtech in yeah. india so that there was no edtech uh, all were like offline coaching centers i have started it in india uh, with the youtube channel so no one had i don't know after me many people have started following me and uh, there are many channels but yeah i was the first one to have started so uh, definitely you are having a years of experience so what do you observe like what are some common student like mistake students do in their interview preparation journey so either for uh, interview preparation or test preparation what i have seen is generally people watch the videos and uh, while watching the videos they will not be very serious in the sense they will not take down the notes now after they have watched 100 or 200 videos they will not remember what has happened in the first video so they don't have a proper uh, notes for revising later and the second thing is many people don't revise every day so when you have learned something new you have to revise it every day at least once you have to see it otherwise you will forget it there is no point in doing like 200 300 hours of preparation and forgetting everything so because you are already spending lot of time you should spend time on revision so notes and revision are the two important things that people don't focus on they should focus on this either they are preparing for interview or they are preparing for an exam this is the most important thing with this discussion i remember my uh... uh jee preparation days where i used to have like three four pen and papers to create a beautiful <laughs> notes and yeah that time it was very easy for me to uh, like uh, revise any topic so i used to have some sticky notes and all every page i used to put this kind of thing so that uh, at least you before the test i can revise this thing easily so yeah you can follow Got this it. kind of uh, practice to create a good uh, notes got it got it. it was really nice discussion with you so i just want to ask you can you share just three tips that uh, either a get preparation or a person who is preparing for placement uh, mm -hmm. they must follow that three tips so one is whenever you are doing very difficult concept like dynamic programming or backtracking always remember that you need to solve lot of questions hundreds of questions not just one or two or 10 at least you solve hundred of questions so whenever the concept is very difficult you have to do lot of practice and second thing is whenever you are practicing the questions always do it in a order that it is incremental so don't do random questions from here and there always try to solve the related questions in some order like every step every question to question there should be a increment and the third tip is you have to revise whatever you have written so whatever you learn you write it on a book and you revise them so these are the three tips that i would like to give so with this note i want to end this video so thank you so much for accepting my invitation and hopefully yes. in future we will have more videos so please like this video and subscribe this channel